Hey there, good morning. So you're having people over, want to put out a great spread, but want to keep things really easy, I've got a few ideas for you. You know, head to the grocery store, pick up a great veggie and dip tray. They've got a whole bunch of them there at Festival Foods, any size you want. Then maybe some cheese and sausage, put out some crackers, and then you got to have one, at least one warm dish. How about making some party meatballs and you can do the whole thing right in the crock pot. Everybody will love them and uh, it's just so quick and easy. We're starting with some just some frozen meatballs that are already done for us. And we're going to put those right in our slow cooker. I've got, you know, depending on the size of the bag, a few packages, two to three packages right into, again, our slow cooker. And then we're going to make the easiest sauce ever, just four ingredients in the sauce. And on game day or when I'm having a party, I'd like to keep it easy, so it doesn't get much easier than this. For the sauce, I'm using one bottle. This is a 12-ounce bottle of chili sauce, which is just a little bit, you know, kind of like jazzed-up ketchup. And the hardest part about that is getting the sauce out of the jar. It takes its good old time. A little tip I do every once in a while, just to get every little last bit of that sauce, and I do this with spaghetti sauce, too, is I just put a little bit of water into the jar, give it a good shake, and that kind of gets every little last drop out of there. All right, so one jar of chili sauce, and I'm heating that on the stove quick because our next ingredient, which is uh, some grape jelly, I just want that to dissolve a little bit before I put it into the slow cooker. The recipe calls for a 12 ounce jar of jelly, this happens to be an 18 ounce jar, so I'm going to use about three quarters of the jar. And it sounds like a really weird combination, I know, but it really works. It's kind of got a sweet and sour thing going on. So the grape jelly, the chili sauce, maybe a little bit left in there for the kids' PB&J sandwich for lunch. And then dash or two of Worcestershire sauce. This is my new favorite product, the thick Worcestershire sauce. It's really great, great on steaks and great on burgers. And then two tablespoons of, I like to use Dijon mustard. If you don't have Dijon, just regular yellow mustard works great in here too. And at this point, we just want to kind of whisk that together and melt up that jelly. And it's very quick, doesn't take long at all. There we go. And now it goes into our slow cooker, pour it right over those frozen meatballs that have already been browned up and they're ready to roll. Lid on our slow cooker, turn it on low for three to four hours and you've got party meatballs. Your house is going to smell amazing. People gobble these up, so make sure you have plenty. You might want to um, double or triple the recipe and make a whole big batch of them. My husband Bob loves these. I happen to love them too. And then you can either serve them right in the slow cooker with toothpicks on the side, or if you want, you can put them in a nice dish. It's totally up to you. But they're yummy. You definitely want to have them nice and warm though. And they're so quick and easy. Oh, we got a meatball overboard. That means I get to eat that one. There you go, my party meatballs. Doesn't get much easier than that as far as putting out a, a delicious party spread. Recipes on our website for this one. You can also pick it up at any festival foods.